Accept the Dread Blades from Tethys at 4069. Just let me know when you're ready. Eliza won't know what's coming. Speak with Tethys when you're ready to set sail for Azuna. Hoist the sails! Reel in the anchor! Ready yourselves, you salty dogs! Azuna awaits! After arriving in Dead Man's Bay, activate and maintain your stealth. Let's get a move on. The horizon's edge be just over this ridge. Travel northeast toward coordinates 6068. Sap the Dreadhounds as they can see through your stealth. Sneak past the guards and make sure the first mate sees our side of things, hmm? We'll join you after that. Good luck out there. I'll be watching for your signal. Board the Horizon's Edge and fight First Mate Degossa until he retreats at about 25% health. Flop the dicks till they shine, you dirty bags of bones! The Dread Admiral demands perfection! How did you get past me, crew? Useless, the lot of you! The rest of the Dread fleet is on its way! Watch your back. Avoid standing in the red dashed line circles where he places the bombs. Now that's an offer I can't refuse. Fall back to the temple. They can have this pile of driftwood. The horizon's edge is ours, lads. Ain't she a beauty? You'll be finding Eliza in the temple ruins ahead. Keep your wits about you. Her whole crew's onto us now. We'll provide naval support as soon as we're up and running. Activate your stealth and disembark from the ship, heading north to 5965. Avoid coming into contact with the traps on the ground. Continue up the path to 5666. Steer clear of the Dread Sharpshooters as they have heightened stealth detection. You're the one who stole my ship and killed my crew. Release the giant! I have business to attend to within the temple. Pleasure, All will know the blades of Dread Admiral Eliza! Fight Lord Brinebeard after Dread Admiral Eliza finishes speaking. When you hear Tethys launch a cannon strike, kite Brinebeard into the blast radius as he will be stunned and take increased damage. After defeating Brinebeard, proceed southwest to the temple door at 5668 and pick the lock by clicking on the door. Enter the chamber below where a raging current will come up from the pool of water. Follow Swirl clockwise around the room and kill Dredge Squall Shapers without being struck by the Swirl.
Interrupt their chain heal using kick. After killing the final Squall Shaper, the Raging Current will despawn. Travel to the next room whose passage is located at 5570. Stealth around a pair of Dreadguard and continue down the stairs to 5471. They know no equal. I know no equal. Turn back now, and you may yet live to tell the tale. Destroy them. Your blades thirst! Defeat Eliza. It will be my pleasure. When she begins her cast of Musket Barrage, run behind one of the columns. You are not a part of it! I am the Activate your defensive cooldowns when Eliza casts Curse of the Dreadblades. Click the Dread Blades to claim your artifact weapon. We can't hold them off forever! Get the lead out of your boots and get out of there! Exit the temple and click the Bloodsail Griffin located at 5667. The Griffin will then fly you back to Dalaran. You made it out in one piece? Ah, and you have them! I've seen no finer swords in all my days. We'll sail to Dalaran. It's a short voyage from here. I'll meet you in the Hall of Shadows. After landing, travel back to your order hall. What can I do for you? For the Alliance. Turn the quest to Tethys. Good to see you. Take it easy. 